We're going to talk a little bit about building a utility method called print heap. First question I have for you is this particular heap has six nodes. Is every heap that's a max heap or a min heap for that matter with six nodes, will it have this exact same shape? What do you think, sir? It will. So what I want you to do now is we're going to build this method called print heap. And it's going to take an array of integers which represents the heap, like that, right? We'll call it an array A. And what we want to do is we want to print it in level order. Now, you remember how complicated level order was before when we had an arbitrary binary tree. But here, we have some advantages. What's the main advantage that we have here in a heap that we didn't have in an arbitrary binary tree? What do we know about the heap shape versus some regular? So, like, like we could have a tree like this, for example, like that. We can't have that in a heap. So what's special about the heap? Yes, sir? Mm -hmm. It's complete. And that will make writing this method much, much simpler. Because how many nodes will you write on the first line? One. How many nodes will you write on the second line? Two. How many will you write on the third line? Is it three? No, no it's four. And then the next line will have eight. The next line will have 16, etc. So if we were to write out this heap, it should produce output like this. And so what I'd like you to do right now is take a few minutes and write this method that basically takes this heap and prints it out. So we're going to have, you can see we're going to need one or more loops. And you need to figure out that when you insert the println to go to the next line, well, you're going to print one number on the first line. Next time loop's going to run twice. Next time it's going to run four times. Yes, sir. Uh, that's true, sir. Uh, I, I considered building an entire heap class, and maybe we'll do that. But I kind of sort of backed off and decided to build just a little utility like this. Go ahead and please take a few minutes and uh, try it out on this heap after you're done. See if it's working. OK, we're going to go over this print uh, heap method. And the idea here is we start with a heap, and then we're going to call this print heap method over here. And it should print the heap in level order, uh, one item on the first line, two on the next one, four on the next one, eight on the next one. OK. So this is the print length. Uh, we'll just copy this today and use it for our main assignment. 